Upstairs, so make a left there, make a left right there, go up the stairs all the way. Oh, Is it ACI? What? It's well it is, but it's fine. <laughs> Thanks for inviting me to Black Panther Party. It's like, yeah, it smells like ass crap. When did your band form? Happiness will unravel and love it. The rubble hit the summer, can you dig it with the biggie deal? Tell me what you feel, it's a blend of memory in the great ball cemetery of truth. But now, so I'll call it a robbing the brains from the phoenix of fire. Smart up the blank of the shit, it won't stop us to rush. What you feel? So we pause the turn of the beat, I'll make you move. Come on, get down, with your almighty ride, 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 ride. Get down with the almighty ride. by shrapnel which struck his spinal cord. A pregnant mother, whose unborn baby may have to be aborted. An elderly man, overlooking the graves of his children and his grandchildren. These are just a few of the helpless victims of the Iraqi war. It's harder for us to see these wounded civilians, rather than the exciting explosions which injure them. Today, in Saddam Hospital in Al Nasiriya, we heard just a few of their stories. 15-year-old Amin was sleeping in his bedroom when he awoke to the sound of artillery fire and a helicopter hovering overhead. He then heard the explosion and was walking through the masonry of the decks, killing his own brother and then making his father an ambulance. 21-year-old Frieza was walking down the street when a missile hit nearby, sending concrete and debris flying through the air.
of our fallen comrades, whom they have fought side by side with them in the past six months while liberating the oppressed people of Iraq. Though Saddam Hussein is no longer in power, remnants of his once tyrannical regime still linger, carrying out acts of terrorism against U.S. soldiers in an attempt to promote efforts to bring stability to the region. One soldier reflected on the opening moments of the war when a member of his elite team was fatally struck in the back of the head with a bullet from a sniper who was embedded deeply in one of Saddam's facilities. Another soldier remorsefully recalled the look of helplessness on the faces of his fellow servicemen as they lie in anguish bleeding in the streets of Nasiriyah after a homemade grenade exploded underneath a U.S. personnel carrier.